Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am very excited. Today we're talking about the new Dior Summer Collection, the Wild Earth 2019 Makeup Collection. And also, this video is in collaboration with my friend Aniko Vida here on YouTube. She is another luxury lover. She does a lot of Chanel, a lot of Dior. Um, she is just fantastic. We've been friends on social media now for several months, I want to say. She's also Canadian. She lives in Alberta, so we don't actually, you know, live that close to each other. Um, but she is just a really kind, wonderful person. And also, this is very superficial, but she has the most beautiful silver hair. I love her hair color. She's just, she's so stunning. And she's so soft-spoken. She's so well-spoken. Her reviews and tutorials are just really a pleasure to watch. She's also an artist. She Not only does she paint on her own face, but she paints on real canvas. She's an actual painter. She has a cat that she likes to paint. Um, she does face painting as well. She's just a very creative person. If you enjoy my style of videos, reviews, and tutorials, I guarantee you will love Aniko as well. I will put a link down below in the description box. Please go check out her video. So what we did is that we both decided to get this collection, but I think we're going to end up getting different items. So we decided on this collection, but we each picked up different items and maybe some similar ones as well. So it's interesting for you guys at home to see different makeup looks on completely different skin tones and hair tones and eye colors. It's like you're going to see something totally different. So for you, the viewer, it's just very interesting to see, you know, similar colors, but on just completely different canvases. It's interesting for you as well. And Aniko is just a really nice, kind person. And I'm really glad that I got to meet her here on YouTube. I'm glad that in this online community of makeup lovers, makeup obsessors, luxury beauty lovers, I'm so glad that I had the occasion to meet her or you know meet her online and become friends with her because she is truly just a very genuine, kind, wonderful person. And I strongly encourage you guys to go watch her. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. And let's dive into the look. As usual, I have my iced coffee here ready to go. I already drank most of it. So let's go ahead and start the video. Okay, so I just realized that I started the video without filling in my eyebrows and uh, yeah, it's one of those mornings. Anyway, I just put up my hair and did my brows. Let's go ahead and create a look. Now, I picked up a lot of items, like a lot. But I'm gonna go ahead and just like walk you through them, talk you through them step by step. So the first item that I got is a palette, the eyeshadow palette actually. This is the Five Colors Wild Earth number 786 Terra. There are two palettes to choose from. Both are stunning. They're both warm tone. The other one is called Sienna, I believe, and it is definitely on the lighter side. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Aniko got Sienna and I got Terra, so you get to see one of each. And these colors are beautiful, they're warm toned, they're golden. This is definitely my type of palette. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start creating a look with these colors here. I'm going into the bronze shade with a flat brush and I'm going to sweep this on the mobile lid. Now Aniko and I had decided in advance which palettes we were going to get each. So I think that made the decision easier, but I think if I if, if we hadn't talked about that before, it would have made the decision much harder because they are both so beautiful. And Aniko did say that she might end up getting both later on, so we'll have to wait and see. These are all shimmer colors in the palette, but they're shimmer without being like a chunky glitter. They blend so smoothly, all five of them. I've been playing with them. They apply wonderfully, they blend very well, and the whole palette is very well thought through. You can wear any color together and it looks stunning. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the darker color in the palette with a more tapered brush and just place this in the outer corner. I love how Dior does these shimmer shadows that aren't like too glittery. They just add like a nice sparkle to your eye and they blend so nice. Now taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to help blend out that darker color in the crease here. 
I think one thing that's important to remember when you buy a palette with five shadows is that you don't need to use all five at once. You can, but I think that can be overwhelming at times when you see five colors and you're like, do I have to use all five? You don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into one of the lighter shades with the same blending brush and just help blend out that crease. Okay, so I've been kind of going back and forth between adding more dark color and then just blending out. So this is really pretty. As you can see, it's like coppery, bronze, brown, my jam. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to face makeup because I wanna do more eye stuff and also I got some products for the face. So let's go ahead and just do that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Chanel Ultra Lete foundation here. I know I'm cheating by using Chanel and Dior at the same time, <gasps> shocking. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that really quick. For a bit of concealer, I'm going into my Clé de Peau concealer. I am in the shade Almond. Okay, so moving on, I got a bronzer. I got the Dior Skin Mineral Nude in Bronze. This is again part of the Wild Earth collection. It's a Healthy Glow a Bronzing Powder Golden Mineral Infused. And I love that even the back of the packaging is gold. I'm just like, I'm a sucker for these packaging things. Like, I think the reason we buy luxury is because the quality is there, but also it, it comes through with the extra packaging. We all love it, you know? So again, this one, there are two shades available in the bronzer here. I believe this is the darker one available. There are two shades. The lighter one, I could have used like all over as a face powder, but I kind of wanted something to prep me for summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a bronzer. Ooh, okay, that was, it's very opaque. <laughs> I'll just blend this out. I like that it's making me look bronze without making me look orange, you know? Nobody wants to look like an Oompa Loompa. Okay, so moving on, I wanna go ahead and finish off the eye look. I picked up a pencil liner here. This is the Dior Show in and out Eyeliner Waterproof. So this is a dual-sided liner with a brown shade and then a bronze shade. And the bronze one is definitely more shimmer. So this is what they used in the campaign photo. They put it in the waterline. So what I'll do is I'll put the lighter color in the waterline and the darker color I'll put on top and maybe trace under the lashes as well. I just went ahead and smudged the liner on the bottom with a little pencil brush here. The liner, both sides of them are very creamy and very smooth. There's no tugging, it's just like it, they both glide on. And I really like that it's a dark brown instead of a black because it looks like it's black, but it kind of adds like a little oomph, a little mystery. I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with some mascara. I am using the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. Okay, so moving on, I also picked up the Dior Flash Luminizer Radiance Booster Pen, and I got the shade 520. Now there were two colors in the display. I got the lighter one because the other one was way too golden. It was just like, it kind of looks more orange on me. So this is a luminizer pen, but it's really a liquid highlighter. I know there's some luminizer pens that you can use as a corrector um, for under the eye, this is not that. This is really a liquid highlighter. And the reason I got this is because I have, like I mentioned, like several Dior highlighters, but I really wanted to see how a liquid one would fare. So you have to click quite a bit at first to get product out, but then once it's out, it's, it's there. This is really beautiful, and I was really curious to see how a liquid highlighter would wear over top of foundation, over top of powders, but it's blending really beautifully. It's kind of just melting into the rest of the makeup. It's not shifting any of the makeup. It's not moving it around. It's just joining the rest. So I think this highlighter or luminizer is more natural than the powder luminizers or the Dior um, Backstage Glow Palette. That being said, it's not a bad thing. I think this would also be really perfect for lighter makeup days or days when you're not actually wearing foundation. I think this would be really nice, but it is also good with a full face of makeup. And of course, I picked up a lipstick. I got the Dior Addict Lacquer Stick number 544 Bronze Exotic. 
This is the type of lipstick that looks good now, but will look even better um, when I have more of a tan. I think it'll just like come through even more. I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm over top. Just to make it a bit glossier. I have the Dior lip glows, um, the orange one. I think if you put the orange one underneath, it would like enhance the orange even more. So last but not least, I also picked up a nail polish. I got Orange Sienna 536. So this hasn't been on my fingers very long, so I can't give you like a full wear test yet. But if you see a full separate wear test of the nail polish, let me know. Okay, this is the finished look with the Wild Earth collection. Every item that I've tried, every item that I've shown to you guys today, I really love. The eyeshadows are beautiful, the colors, the blend, the, it's, they're great, like the shadows are outstanding. I'm a really big fan of the liner too because they're so creamy and smooth, you don't have to tuck, it just like swipes on easily. The illuminator is a lot of fun. I've never really played around with any liquid highlighters from Dior, but I'm a really big fan. The nail polish is also really fun. Um, it's pretty fresh on my hand, so I can't give you guys like a full review of the nail polish, but if you want to see a full review, let me know. I can do like a wear test if you want. What else? The lipstick is really cute too. I think with more of a bronzer, it'll come through a bit more. And also wearing the um, lip glow underneath will make it perform even better. The bronzer is nice. It's a good bronzer. I think it'll also work really well as an eyeshadow. If I want to mix like a more matte color with these colors on my eye, I can easily use that bronzer in the crease as well. This whole collection is very well thought out. I love all of it. Um, I know Aniko was planning on picking up more blue items because the liner here, the double-sided liner, also comes in blue. I think she might also pick up the blue nail polish. I think that the nail polishes, the blue one especially, is gonna sell out fast. I think the liners are gonna sell out fast. I think the eyeshadows are gonna sell out fast. Um, I think this is a collection that if you really want it, you should not hesitate. I'm sorry to influence your shopping habits, but I just think that these products are really good. I know that Dior is expensive, but I think that like these items are worth it. You don't necessarily have to get every single thing that I got, but if there's an item in particular in this video that you saw that you wanted, I recommend them. I think they're good quality. I think they perform well. I think this is definitely worth your money. So please make sure to go check out Aniko and see what she picked up. Did she pick up any blue nail polish? What did she get? Go check her out. Um, leave a comment letting her know that I sent you. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side so you can know it whenever I post a new video. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.